Uh, thank you very much, Presiding Officer. And uh, I think it's fair to say our attachment to the fishing industry is in part emotional. Uh, the occupation of being a fisherman, besides its biblical connections, is an occupation that is one of the earliest identified occupations that the human race uh, got itself involved in. And of course, today, uh, the fishing industry survives uh, as one of the last hunter-gatherer industries. So it speaks to something quite deep. And of course, that places special obligations, responsibilities, duties and difficulties in the way of uh, the successful prosecution of that trade because the stock is much less managed than sheep on a farm, cows, uh, cows on a farm, crops that are sown. And I think our fishermen are absolutely to be commended for the way in which they have risen to the challenge of stock management. Um, often in the face of total misunderstandings of science, totally ineffective and uh, uninterpretable uh, regulation, uh, but nonetheless our fishermen have uh, found a way to rebuild an industry, stocks of cod at three times the level they were in the relatively recent past, a valuable, uh, a valuable uh, stock that's exploited. Now, I just cannot... Uh, speak in a fisheries debate without uh, referring to the estimable uh, Jamie McGregor. Um, when I spoke uh, first in a fishing debate in June 2001, uh, a single day after I was sworn into this parliament, Jamie was there. He wasn't me alone, but were other, well, no, looking around the chamber, maybe it was just him. Um, and even though I seldom find myself in the position of agreeing with everything Jamie says. I always listen with close attention, if only to know what the contrary arguments are. And if I may speak directly to Jamie rather than through the chair, I say to him on behalf of myself, and I suspect many others, we shall miss you, Jamie, for your wit, your humour and your engagement in this very important issue. I hope your successor is not nearly so successful uh, on the Tory benches as you have been, but that's a political comment. Um, now, it's worth just expanding that point, saying, of course, the fact that we might be in different political parties, people here, does not mean we can't make common cause and have friendships. And, in fact, the fisherman who stood against me at the 2011 election uh, for the Conservative cause in uh, Bamshire and Buchan Coast is somebody I get on with extremely well. And uh, we have secret assignations under cover of darkness, uh, when I um, managed to get most of the cod roll that he's landed, because that is absolutely my favourite uh, seafood uh, out of uh, our, our, our sea. Uh, and I'm going to work to keep that relationship going uh, extremely well. Now, we have an issue, not just in catching fish and the regimes surrounding that, but also in fish consumption. Basically, at the moment, it's pretty static. We haven't seen much increase in fish consumption, despite the fact that our processing and catching industries continue uh, to grow and become a more valuable component uh, of our economy. And I think that's an issue to which we have to turn. There have been other uh, debates and other places where we have referred to uh, sea fish, uh, the UK, and I think we, we've got to keep an eye on that. Um, the marine protected areas is a subject which, when I was a minister, was uh, something I was tangentially uh, involved in. I have to say, for the East Coast fishing fishermen, um, it doesn't seem to have been quite the issue it has been for the West Coast and the small communities. I understand that. I think I would very much welcome, uh, frankly, some more targeted and specific information uh, about that. Now, speaking about information, um, I... Uh, last met Roddy McCall, the Secretary of the Fishermen's Association Limited, on a train, and we had an excellent discussion. And I'm uh, very much obliged to file uh, for the 16-page newsletter uh, that arrived in my inbox this week, uh, covering a wide range of subjects. Um, I won't pretend I agree with every word that's written in Fowl's newsletter, but that will not come as news to Fowl or Roddy McCall or uh, Tom Hay, my, my constituent, uh, or others. Uh, but, but, but I think there are, there are some very good things in there, in particular drawing attention 
uh, to the prospect, the imminent prospect, of our COD stocks uh, being uh, uh, awarded MSC status. And I think that's a huge potential step forward and one which will rebuild consumer uh, attitudes to North Sea cod, cod caught by our fishermen. Um, but much of the comment, I may say, about lack of sustainability has been ill-informed uh, and inappropriate. So I, I certainly hope that we, we see that uh, moving forward in early course. Now, fishing, of course, doesn't stand alone. And in my concluding remarks, presiding officer, um, I just say, when we saw shrinkage of the fleet, we saw butchers closing in rural Bamsha because they were supplying food to boats. And that's replicated across a whole uh, e ecology of the economy uh, that's dependent uh, on uh, sea fishing. Uh, when we stopped dumping sewage at sea, we saw a reduction in seabird populations. I hope when we see reduction in dumping of uh, fish in the sea, we're monitoring what happens there. And by the way, if the SFF want to meet me, give me an invitation, I'm entirely happy to do so. We can kiss and make up any time you like, presiding officer.